Hey, what's up guys? My name's Ashley and welcome to Just That Weirdo Next Door and Coffee and Tarot. Ironically, I'm wearing my shirt that says coffee and online shopping. So originally I filmed a video about who you're going to marry. But guess what? It didn't appear on my phone or on the, you know, as it was importing. It wasn't there on two different computers it didn't show it but it's still there on my phone angels kept saying no do a different one different one different one when they tell you something they mean it because they will fuck with you so we're doing you know coffee and advice coffee and tarot i might make this a daily thing so if you like it subscribe if you want a private reading check the description box down below you like my pointer yeah for all the details, if you want to support the channel, you can donate through PayPal or become a patron. All that stuff. Got one, two, three. Got the crystal for one, two is amethyst, and three is green adventure adventuring. The green thing that sound like sound like that that I can't really pronounce. That I don't know how to pronounce. Okay. And it's going to be a love reading. What do you need to know in love? Advice you need to know in love. You can pause the video. Do that. And I'm going to get started. Yeah. Group one, amethyst. Put the amethyst chill up here with the turtle. Turtle. So, advice you need to know and love today. Going to embrace your differences with lover, person. Have heart to heart conversations. Move forward in the relationship. Have a breakthrough, a victory of creation, inspiration. Keep an open mind, and they're worth waiting for. So, advice you need to know. Keep moving on along on your path. Let your angels guide you. You need to do that more. And you're gonna have yes, this raw victory, reward with hard harder conversations and being open-minded and you know patience with this a, a lot of patience because you know divine timing is that work in your love life so stop overthinking and worrying about it embrace those differences embrace your differences as then embrace your dark side and you just keep chugging along See if we can get any other information from this deck. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and the High Priestess. So you could be stressing about your financial situation. You feel you need to work on that before pursuing romantic interests. Could be. Mainly the main message here is keep going, you're on the right path with love, with career, 
go after what makes your heart sing and soul shine and all that jazz. Do what you love. Or who you love. Okay. That's all I'm getting for you. Thanks for watching. You have someone in mind, but you're scared. Unrequited love. Ten of cups. Nine of cups. Is that nine? Nine of cups. Romantic feelings. Yeah. A tough situation. Feels like you're scared because you could have a kid. Stay. You could have a kid, you could have a family. And you want to go after someone new or you want to go after an ex. Whatever the situation is, you're scared they won't love you or you won't love them. Maybe because they have a kid. You're scared they might get in the way and like you'll be second or however it works, however it resonates. But it's going to kind of decide and just why not? What's holding you back? Why are you stopping yourself? Why are you holding yourself back? Two, holy shit, group two. Nine of Pentacles, the wheel, Ten of Pentacles. Maybe you're scared about well, financial matters. Whatever it is, I feel you feel trapped. Maybe you've been in hermit mode. The wheel is turning, good things are coming. <laughs> Let go of these control issues. Let go of this fear. Or tell them to let go of their fear. Either way, I feel this will not be an issue anymore. Can you see it? Not be an issue anymore. And you're gonna have this happy family with romantic feelings and feeling of home. You're gonna have this new home with someone else. Or maybe you're scared of them being childish and you not having this. But good things are on their way. You just gotta stop trying to control everything. Just let it fall into place. That is all I have for you. I hope this resonated. Hope it helped. Thank you for watching. Group three. Get some stuff.
You got a confusing group. It's just confusing. Pay attention to red flags. Free yourself. Express your love. Oath. Two of Pentacles and the Magician. More than one. I got four of chalices, cups, nine of chalices, in the wheel, of fortune on the bottom. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. You've missed someone. You're, they, some kind of abuse going on. It could be substance abuse or it could be physical, mental. Something about them that you, that was a red flag, a warning. So like you broke it off and now you're missing them or they're coming back into your life, either one. of the lust. Veronica Lush just wants to lay down. There. It's like you're bringing them back to you. Just, I feel you want some kind of closure with the situation. You're reminded of the good times. Those good times are just lost. But you're still hesitant to be back with them. What would happen if you get back with them? I feel like you would get that closure. Anything else to say about this situation? You need the closure for your spiritual spiritual growth, spiritual healing you're going through, an awakening awakening of sorts. So, old shit is coming to the surface. You're trying to find this balance. You're trying to free yourself from your old self, and you're trying to open your heart again because this situation could have closed it off. You did. You closed it off. the world, shit ton of other cards, eight of pentacles, nine of swords, the wheel, and six of swords. So, 
And you get wait, what is there? Queen of Swords on the bottom. Hey, do you even see it? There we go. The world is yours. You're taking back your power. You're moving could be, you know, the death of the old self. You're healing from you're healing all these wounds. And you're letting other people help you, maybe guides like me. Maybe your spiritual guides, spirit guides, angels. You're releasing all this shit. And the wheel is turning in your favor, so. Yes, get this closure and then move on. That's all I'm getting for you. Thank you for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoy your afternoon now. And coffee. Afternoon coffee, fuck yeah. It's morning somewhere. It's fine. Have a nice day. Bye.